Just to, to me, the, the whole the whole uh, atmosphere of the budget uh, uh, debate changed from it to me a budget debate to almost like a political campaign atmosphere. To you know where you send mailers out and 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 then you kind of counter those mailers and 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 and, and so forth. So it's. It's almost like a campaign rather than, than, than a budget debate. And, and I was hoping for more of a budget debate where, okay, there's find areas where we are in agreement on and then find and then work in those areas where we disagree on. And, and every, one position is going to start from this position, another position is going to start from this position. And then you work in to, to, to get something done that would benefit Pennsylvania as a whole. But I mean, the right now, it, it, it did anyway seem like a, a it, it kind of like, evolved into like a campaign rather than than, than a budget uh, uh, debate. It, there's, there's nothing in writing and there's a lot of, of, of statements about potential savings but it, it didn't go through PERC, uh, it didn't uh, uh, go through any type of real uh, numbers checkings I guess you could say to, to actually verify whether or not the, those savings would actually be there and such. I mean, I think with Senate Bill 1 originally, we did go to PERC, and I think we had a, what, a potential savings of approximately $19 billion over the next 37 years or whatever. Uh, uh, but we at least went to PERC and, and, and had uh, the numbers run and checked and verified. Uh, this was more along the lines of, and we've been accused of having a budget of smoke and mirrors. Well, in all intents and purposes, and in, in all due respect to the governor, I, I believe some of the, some of the uh, figures and, and facts, you know, without being verified or written or gone through PERC, is, is kind of kind of like smoke and mirrors. Attitude that people have about their government, and 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 that's unfortunate, and and such. so. I try to stay out of things. Uh, I don't try to. I, I I I'm saying let's let the court system do its thing. Uh, A. G. Kane has the. Uh, as, as anybody has the right to a fair trial, has a right to uh, to to her time in court, and um, and um, it shouldn't be tried in, in the press, and it shouldn't be tried in, in the court of public opinion, as any case would be, um, no matter who it is. But whenever a elected official falls into that arena, it just hurts. Uh, people already have have a a, a disdain. Hey, let me be honest with you, people ask, you know, I, I don't have designer plates on my car, I, and I drive my own car, because, unfor I, you know, they ask you, what do you do? I'm in the state center, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like, that they have that attitude towards government, and it's because we have this view of, of we're all corrupt, and that's not the case. I mean, the vast majority of the people of the are, 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 are good people, we may not all agree on all points, but, but they're, they're trying their best. And, but when this was going, going back to the A.G. Kane scenario, uh, I'm, I'm a firm believer in our court system, and, and Lady Justice has blinders, and, and the reason why she has blinders is that she doesn't want to know what color your skin is, she doesn't want to know uh, what your, uh, whether you're rich or poor, or, or what your political flavor is. It's about hearing the facts, and that you're innocent until proven guilty, um, and understandably so. Uh, so they, they took it up, and I was very grateful for them to take it up and, uh, and having good, honest debate on it. Uh, we're in a continue, we're in still continued uh, negotiations with them. Uh, they've kept me in the loop. I was at their very first meeting and was able to present our position and, uh, and knowing and let them know that, hey, we're here to work with you and to come up with the best possible bill forward to help as many Pennsylvanians as possible. Uh, and uh, get it done as quickly as possible so that it doesn't... The, the other goal of Senate Bill 3 and, and to get a good policy done is that we don't end up like, for instance, Nevada, which took 15 years to get their, their, their plan into place and to make it workable. Right now, New York's is unworkable. They're having major problems. New Jersey, they're facing a whole bunch of problems. Uh, uh, and, and while they have a program, it's, it's really not workable. And and, um, and and they've created in New Jersey. They've created an, an, an underground market. 